All right, so in this video, I wanna show you how to start a Zoom meeting and then share that Zoom meeting across multiple platforms. So let's imagine this computer right here is in California. And this iPad right here is in New Albany, Mississippi. And this computer right here is in Memphis, Tennessee. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a meeting and share the screen across all the devices. Okay, so the way we do that is the first thing we do on all New Albany School District computers, we've got preloaded apps in the bottom right of the home screen of the dock. Okay, Team Viewer, Self Service, and Zoom. So we're going to use Zoom, the one with this little camera. Now, when I open Zoom, I'm already logged in. If you're not logged in, you, you won't get a page that looks like this. But logging in, I can say, I want to start a new meeting right here. And so I have started a meeting and I want to join the meeting with my computer audio, but I also have the choice to do a phone call in. Sometimes the phone call in works better than the computer audio. In this case, I'm going to use the computer audio. So I've started a meeting, but you can see down here at the bottom, I'm the only participant. All right. So now that I've started the meeting, my friend on his iPad is also gonna join the meeting, so he's gonna open the Zoom app on the iPad. And the app says, here are my options. I can sign in, sign up, or join a meeting. So I'm gonna click join a meeting. And then here, the meeting code is located at the top here or in the URL here. So I'm gonna tell him the meeting code, which is 371-787. 3939. Now, each individual who hosts a meeting will have their own individual code. And you can just tell it to the people that are joining your meeting. So I'll click join. And so now you can see that, on, that I have two participants in the meeting. Okay. And it asks, do we want to use audio on the iPad for the call using internet audio, dial in, or cancel? I'm going to say cancel because for this, for this meeting, since the devices are right beside each other, I'll get feedback. In general though, you'd wanna either dial in or use internet audio. Now, look at the choices I have at the top of the screen. I can join the audio, start video where they can see my face, share content, look at the participants and more. Or I can leave the meeting, okay? And then let's go to the third device in another city and we're gonna go to Zoom at the bottom right and open it and click join a meeting. And we're gonna put in that same meeting code. And I'm gonna click okay. And I'm gonna join with computer audio. And so now you see you've got some feedback, so I'm gonna mute this. All right. Now, when you do a regular meeting, you won't have feedback, but because all these devices are side by side, you do get feedback. Okay, so now if we come over here to the original meeting organizer, you can see that there are three participants in the meeting. This computer, this iPad, and that computer. So, anybody who's participating in the meeting gets the option to share their screen. So you can click Share, and you can say desktop, share. And now, if you notice on all three devices, you can see the original computer's screen. So watch this, if on this screen, if I open up, say, um, a web page, and I go to the New Albany Schools website, let me type it in, nasd.ms, right? So now I'm on the New Albany Schools website. Well, what you'll notice is on all three devices. On this one, they're seeing my desktop. And on this one, they're seeing my desktop because I've shared the desktop, which is awesome, right? And so if you ever need to have a meeting, this is a great way to do it. You start the meeting on your laptop, you send them the code, and then everyone else can see what's on your screen. Now let's say you're done and you don't want to share your screen anymore. 
At the top here, you can say stop share, and now no one can see your screen. But now let's say the person with this iPad wants to share their screen. So at the top, they'll just say share content, and they want to share their screen, so they'll tap on screen. Now on the iPad, it's a little different. They're gonna have to say, I wanna share my screen with Zoom and click start broadcast. And see it says three, two, one, and go. And now it's sharing the iPad screen. So you can see on the iPad, I'm on the home screen. Well, look at the laptop. I also see the iPad's home screen. And so as I change pages, watch this. It changes on the laptop as well. And on this laptop too. So as I change home screens, you can see it across all platforms. All right, so now this person's done, and so they can go up here to the top and click on the little red button and say they wanna stop sharing their screen. And then we're gonna open Zoom back up. And so again, we're back in the regular meeting, right? Now maybe the person with this laptop wants to share their screen. So they go down here and they click share, and they say, I wanna share Look at the options you have. You can share your desktop, a whiteboard to write with, and a lot of other options. So they're gonna share their desktop, share. And now across all devices, everybody's seeing this laptop's screen. And when we're done, we can say stop share. Now there's other cool options in Zoom, like you can record the meeting. So if you do an important meeting and you want to record it, you can just click right here where it says record. So here's that was some basics of Zoom meeting across all platforms.